today I am departing Mumbai. I'm getting a night train, 18 hours, 55 minutes uh, to Delhi. Okay, Mumbai has been an absolute blast. I've loved it here for two weeks um, and I'm really sorry if I haven't tried everything, all of your amazing recommendations on my channel. If I did try everything, I would literally just explode. <laughs> so, but thank you anyway. So I am here at the train station. What is it? Chhatrapati, I think that's how you say it. And uh, my train ticket is already booked, but I have no idea where to go to actually get the ticket. It's pretty busy here. Um, not like crazy chaos though. And okay, I think that might be smart cards. The smart cards something rather there. Let's just go in and um, because I have one of those scan code things, that's the one. I'm not sure exactly where to go. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I mean, I'm not actually sure even if I need to get a ticket. Maybe I just scan it before going on the train? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's more fun doing it like this though. Just uh, keeping it random, going with the flow. See what happens. I'm here about an hour and a half early as well, so I'm in absolutely no rush whatsoever. Um, I just want to like, get a feel for the station, get some good shots here and stuff, and probably um, grab a couple of snacks and a drink. But food will be supplied on the train, of course, and drinks and stuff like that. So I won't starve. And wow, this is absolutely beautiful. Check this out, what I've walked into. Stained glass windows. Fantastic roofing, wooden roofing up there. And these columns. Whoa. Impressive, Mumbai. I like it. So I've been told that I need to go to platform 18. I can't see. Six? Platform five, six? Oh my god, where is platform 18? It must be this way then. It's a massive station. Absolutely like enormous. So I'll probably get lost easily here. We go around it, yeah we can. Not much security going on, everyone's just coming through with their bags and stuff like that. Right, and over there I can see 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. Now oh, they've even got uh, sleeping pods here as well. So if you arrive really, really early and you want to sleep for like five, six hours, you can do that here. It looks like there's actually a train coming in now onto platform 18. A lot of people here already. Lots of cargo, luggage, boxes, everything. This guy has this like huge movable cart with just loads and loads of snacks on here. He's even got toys and things like that. I might grab a couple of things. Um, what's that? Dark fantasy bur bourbons. Got some fruit cake. Some other biscuits and cookies. What's this? Uh, maybe chewing gum. Yeah, Orbit. Um, do I need that? Maybe not. Lots of different crisps. Banana chips. What's that? Barakawadi. Barakawadi. Stuffed rolled, savory stuffed rolled with wheat flour and spices added to it. Sounds interesting. Can I have one? One. What else have we got here? Yeah. Um, um, and, 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 okay, some banana chips. banana chips. Yeah, banana chips. And I might get some like actual crisps, like sour cream. Sounds good. Get one. Uh -huh. Chapata masala and one chapata masala. Let's just have a quick look around this side. It's got like blankets and everything. They like the chapata masala here. No, oh, same. Mass tomato. Oh, and one tomato. One tomato. One tomato, okay. I'm giving a hundred, he's still giving change, I think. I don't know. So, hundred's still a pound. I bought five, didn't I? Oh, he's giving me 30 back. Right, so all of those come to 70. Is that 15 each? Not bad. Trains arrived. Right, let's get on. I'm pretty sure this might be. Is this a 29? Yeah, it's in here. Okay, awesome. Oh, these 
bloody prick. Oh my god, it's freezing. It is absolutely freezing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's been an hour since we left now and I've just been um yeah just taking in the scenery different scenery landscape already we've already gone past like a few sort of hilly mountains and that but they've just given some snacks I'm, I'm not sure if this is dinner I'm not I don't know they asked me earlier if I want veg or non-veg um well we have samosa we have um some snack things and sewn cake I don't know what sewn cake is and China obviously the uh kind of crispy, crunchy pulse snack, which looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna like smash this because I am pretty hungry. And then just gonna go on tour of the train, go and check out first class, third class, because I'm in second, and um, the food cart if they do have one. Vegetable samosa. They've also given me my own little private flask of uh, hot water there. Just making a uh, tea. But I think the bag is split. I think this tea. Oh no. Somehow the bag is split. Yeah. And there's peanuts and rice things inside of it. Flavors of India. I'm just intrigued about this cake, sewn cake. Right, I'm gonna open it. Can't vlog and open at the same time. Uh, I've never seen this before. It's dry, almost. You see, it's very flaky, and it's got maybe cashews, sliced cashews on there. All right, now I'm gonna do this, but try and like squeeze it out of the pot into my mouth. Wow. It's almost like candy floss. It's basically candy floss. Mm. Wow. It completely just dissolves and melts into your mouth. Really nice. So nutty. Sewn cake. I like ya. Mm. Get a right mess there. So I was a bit of a numpty actually, um, but it's not really that clear. I was in the right seat, but in the wrong car. It was A2 I was supposed to be in, but apparently I was in A5, and I didn't see any A and numbers after it anywhere on the train or on the platform. So now, actually, going well, it seems like we're going back, but we're not going back. I'm on the other side of the train, of course. So, all right, okay. Um, I'm just gonna have a quick drink now because that was a little bit of a palaver actually. Uh, one guy got on and was like, you're in my seat, you're in my seat, blah, 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 blah. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna chill again for five minutes now and uh, have a drink, then we'll explore the train. Okay, let's go and have a little explore of the train. I wanna check out the toilets. Haven't actually uh, seen the toilets on here yet. Oh. Decent sized toilet there, not too bad. I've seen worse. Namaste. 
It's a water station, you get hot water when you want. I think that's a pool one, yeah, that's a pool. Let me allow this guy to come through first. For hot water. It's pretty busy on here actually. Like I say most of the beds are occupied. Ah, excuse me. It's a little bit smelly here near the toilets. Not uh, not great. Let's have a look through here. This is the first class cabins I think. I'm guessing so. Look, there's like flowers on here and everything. I wonder if they're all occupied. Yeah, I'm guessing the private cabin. But it seems alright so far. It's like kind of what I was expecting. Quite similar to um, similar to Thai trains, you know. Maybe just a little bit less. Oh, oh no, the kitchen. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't know that was the kitchen. No. No what? No what? No, no allowed home shooting. No, no, no allowed home shooting. Oh no, no, not here though. No, not here. Yeah. Okay. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought it was, I was just walking. Okay. I just walked into the, the catering car, haven't I? Um, so yeah, we're at the end of the train already. This end. I think there is like about 20 or 25 carriages. Um, it's a very long train. really sorry about this lighting the lighting in here is is really bad um, there are like the just double bunks here and the lighting's great but I'm in this like tiny little compartment I literally have that light and I've set up my two um, phone lights as well so dinner has been served um, I went for non-veg so there should be like I don't know what meat maybe mutton or chicken I'm guessing inside of there here is the standard uh, dal and we have some rotis I think rotis or chapatis steamed white rice and a kind of yogurt it's just like a yogurt and milk drink as well so yep very very standard Indian meal um, exactly what I was expecting I think all right let me just uh, plonk the camera there and uh, let's try this let's try it I might go for a bit of the, the roti first yeah okay it always comes with two. Oh no there's three here got three rotis Fine, how are you doing? I'm good. You're good. Great. So what's your name? My name is Jirag Gupta. Jirag Gupta. So nice to meet you. Same and your name? Hello. Ratis Gupta. Ratis Gupta. Yeah. Okay, so father? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. He, he's, he's my close friend. Just close friend, yeah. Like brother kind of yes, thing, yeah. Yes. Okay, and the Jirag Gupta's bodyguard Mangesh Okay, okay. Bodyguard. 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 Yeah. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, 
what do you have to show me? Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, just invited me into his little cabin part. He wants to show me um, yeah. something he, he has. He would like to show you how we Indians travel and how we travel with our own food and we don't take food from the railway. Sometimes <laughs> we take, but many times we don't. So there you go. This is our meal. Wow, that's a big tub box yep. thing. <laughs> yep. it's Indian. Snacks. Indian snack. Chana. Yeah, chana. Ah, uh, so like a chickpea, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah like chickpea. Oh, go on then. Thank you. Mmm. Yeah, look like they're going to be quite spicy. No, okay. it's medium and spicy. Little, yeah. I've still got a full mouth of... I'm going to take a bit dry. <laughs> All right. Wow. Yeah. So, this is paneer. Okay, yeah. paneer is like a milk product with gravy. It looks very delicious. This is potato. Mm. Nice. Little potato, small potato. I thought that was more cheese, like cheese balls of some kind. <laughs> this is pulao. Oh, pulao. Wow. That's it's just... still hot. You can feel it. It's yeah. still hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more than six hours. Mm. So I have seen these around the city that they deliver to this work is meat. and stuff, right? Mutton. Mutton, look at that curry, guys. Oh my word. Did you cook this? My wife did. <laughs> Your wife. <Yep. laughs> Women are generally the better cooks, maybe. Is that the roti? Roti. Or yeah. You have a lot in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For you also. To fill up. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Salad. Wow, you really do have a um, like a, a kind of picnic yep. bag of. <laughs> mm. This is red chili, and this is a pickle made from red chili. I so say it's a type of a pickle, yeah. Yeah. Red chili it's pickle. very spicy. Okay. Very spicy. It, it does is, look spicy. It helps in cleansing the veins of the heart. That's a pickle. Oh my god, is it like stuffed? This is stuffed, stuffed pickle. Mm. What's it stuffed From with? Himachal Mirchi. Himachal Mirchi. Yep. Pick that. Oh, oh, that's just literally. Look at it. Look, look, look. That mutton is so damn good as well. Look at it. There are five types of meat Kasi, Bokur, Andal and hiran chab and bhed wow so All many right. types there here. are five types of mutton uh, this is khasi 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 I, I like khasi goat very much <laughs> um check it <laughs> thank you You're teaching God me about you. this God yeah teaching me about five different kinds of stages of mutton types of mutton here let's try one of these potatoes i think they're like very small new potatoes and what's on the potato? Is it's it? Indian recipe, it's Indian masala. It's a type of masala, okay. Perfect, wow. And with the chili, do I just pick yep. a bit? Yep. Yep. Take all? Yep, little, you can take. Cool, yeah, oh, oh, it's on my finger now. But. That's a spice. My my mouth and tongue is actually bur like burning, burning. The last product, parcel. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and the the, the, the paneer. Oh, plenty, plenty. Thank you so much. Look at this. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's spicy, man. Uh, and this homemade, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is spicy. <laughs> um, if you can't handle. You won't eat that much, um, you won't enjoy that, but it's seriously delicious. Oh, oh, some of oh, Thank you. Just a oh, whoa, that's a chunk and a half. <laughs> awesome. Let's try this paneer now. Utterly, probably one of the best lamb 
dishes I've ever had in my entire life. Look at it. I'm just gonna go in for this now. Uh, is it okay to eat off the bone? Yes. Oh, it is. Okay, I didn't want to be rude then. <laughs> I just couldn't resist it. Look at that. <laughs> And there is even more food that you're giving me. This is the lollipop chicken, right? Yes, chicken it's, lollipop. It's chicken lollipop, but it looks like it's coated in some chicken serious. drumstick. Chicken yeah, drumstick. It's in, it's in Szechuan. So, oh, it's a Szechuan style of yeah. chicken, right? Okay, okay. Right. And that's peanut. Is that peanut on? Maybe. No. Garlic. Oh. Well, now I'm getting really full. Spectacular. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> thank you, sir. Well, and thank you again. <laughs> Alright, guys. Oh, hey. So it's about half past ten now. Uh, pretty much most people have gone to sleep, turned the lights off, so I've just made my bed. And they give you like a sheet, uh, a towel as well, um, and a blanket, of course. So, yeah. Hopefully I sleep enough tonight. Um, probably not, I don't generally sleep on trains, but we'll just have to see. All right guys, see you in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning. I actually slept surprisingly well. I slept for like eight hours. And I've woken up to a very foggy, misty and sort of wet. And it looks like it's a bit rainy up here. Just checked on the map whereabouts we are. We are not far from New Delhi. We are really quite close. So not long now, probably two or three hours, two hours maximum. Just got my coffee and I like the, the flasks, the private flask you get. And my breakfast is up here. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, probably egg or something like that. It's a couple of things and a sandwich as well. Um, but I'm, I've literally just woken up like five minutes ago. So I'm not hungry usually in the mornings. At least for a few hours. I'm trying to keep off eating that for a while and just stick with my coffee. Okay, I'm gonna make it, not just vlog and spit it all over the place. do come round and ask for like a tip so I just gave him a hundred rupees I'm not sure what the standard um, thing is but I guess it's what what you can actually afford and we're about I'd say about an hour and a half away from Delhi at the moment there's nothing particularly Indian about this sort of landscape um, which is loaded like farmland and stuff cornfields and things um, maybe the only difference is, is back there actually there's a bunch of guys using the train track as a toilet Okay, we have arrived. We are at Hazrat Nizamuddin. 18 hours, 55 minutes, exactly. So I'm looking forward to getting off of it. Spreading my legs a bit. Another day. Thank you. Oh, these bloody doors. Vlogging, opening doors, and pushing luggage. Don't really go together. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have everything. I did check and double check. All right, so I've literally just kind of like having a bit of a breather. I'm still on the platform here, but I'm gonna to start to conclude this Mumbai to Delhi train journey. Overall, it was actually really nice. Um, the bed was comfortable. The food could have been better. 
but it's just standard travel food similar with like airplane food but I've met those super friendly local Indian people who offered me their food and that was utterly amazing so thank you guys um, now my hotel is actually a bit further away than I thought um, well, I'm at this station the Razamat Razadun uh, train station but I booked a hotel near New Delhi train station so I'm gonna make a video right now of my proper first impressions exiting here and making my way to my hotel which is a good few kilometers away gonna have a wander around see what food there is get on a local bus or even a local like transit train and make my way there okay massive huge gigantic thank you for watching and if you're not already subscribed and you want to follow my journey here in India you know what to do hit the subscribe button and give us some likes comments any suggestions things to do things to eat here in Delhi that would be much appreciated all right everyone have an amazing week and I'll be seeing you soon. Peace out.